Hello guys, today I want to introduce you to a new helper class in Laravel, number class, that was released last week in Laravel 10.33, and it was introduced, added by this guy, Kyan da Silva. And what it does is formatting the number into various formats as we need to show them somewhere. So format number to currency, to file size, or just make it human readable as a text. I decided to try it out myself on one of our filament projects where we have price column and the current code for that before number class is this. We have a state variable which is a number from the database which is in cents and we need to show it in euros currency. So this can be probably shortened to one line with a new number class. Let's try it out. And I will show you my full process of upgrading actually. So in this filament demo, which was created a few weeks ago, I don't have the newest Laravel version. So this number class was released in 10.33. And there are a few ways to check your current version. So for example, if you use PHP Storm, you can open Composer JSON file. And PHP Storm will automatically show you the installed versions. So this is the rule for each of the packages. And this is the actually installed version. By the way, if you're not familiar with those rules of Composer, JSON versions. I have a separate article about Composer with a lot of tips and I will link that in the description below. Anyway, currently we have 10.32.1. But if you don't use PHP Storm, you can also just run a few artisan commands, like for example, PHP artisan dash dash version will give you the same thing, Laravel version. Or if you need more information about your system, there's PHP artisan about which will give you much more details. And if we scroll up, including the same Laravel version on the right. So yeah, now we need to upgrade to Laravel 10.33 and you need to run Composer update for that, but not necessarily full Composer update. Maybe for some packages you don't want to run that upgrade. So you can specify Composer update, just Laravel framework like this, and it should update to 10.33. This is exactly what is happening. And now we can use that number class. Yep, upgrade is successful. And let's try to change the code now. So in the official Laravel docs, there is a new separate section for helpers numbers. And there are possible options like formatting, but we don't need that percentage, we don't need that here. And there's currency, which is exactly what we need. And there's also file size and for humans. And I will link that in the description below. But let's stop here. So instead of doing that number formatter, we can just do return number, which should be auto completed by my PHP storm now, eliminate support number, yes, that one, and then currency, the number is state divided by 100, because we have that in sense in the database. And then we provide the currency, which is by default USD. So actually, let's not provide it at first and see the difference. And let's comment out the old code and we refresh the page and see what happens. So we had currency in price and nothing changed because I changed it in the wrong place. I changed it in the info list and not in the table of filament. So I will repeat it down below in the table method. And we can actually not comment that below because return is finishing the function. Anyway, refresh and now we have the dollar sign because we didn't specify the currency but we can specify the currency by doing euros here and we refresh and now we have euros. Also in the official docs, you may provide locale as parameter. For example, in Germany for locale DE, it would be different. So let's try exactly that. DE, we refresh and it looks differently. Or you can take the locale, for example, if you're working with just one locale, it is configurable in Laravel in config app. So in config app PHP file, you may change EN to DE and number class would take the default locale for you. But if I refreshed, actually I was wrong here. I was assuming it takes the default locale, not the case. So yeah, if you do want to provide locale, you need to do it manually with app get locale like this and then refresh and now have the German locale. And by the way, I recommend you to use named attributes because not everyone would understand later in the future, not every developer, what these parameters actually mean. So in euros and locale here like this, this is a syntax available from PHP eight. And this is much more readable for other developers in the future. So yeah, this is the number class. I've shown only one example with currencies, but you saw other examples in the docs and you may try it out yourself. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.